Hello there, year six. Long time no see. Welcome to this video here about doing some technical drawings. Well done, everybody, for their fantastic work in science class at being able to make your towers. Awesome. You need to do a drawing of it. Now, Technical drawing is not the same as normal drawing. My art grade isn't something I really want to talk about. But technical drawing is something completely different. Technical drawing is something that you really can do. It doesn't require much skill. It's a bit of patience and about focus. The aim of a good technical drawing is always to make it easy to make the product, I guess. That means, people, that when you're doing the product and you're doing the design, that drawing you do at the end, I could post to somewhere the deepest, darkest wherever. And from the drawing alone, they could make it exactly the same way you did. It's like a good science lab method. I could give anybody in the world an A grade science method, and they could do the lab the same way you did. For an A grade drawing, I give it to anybody else in the world and they can do it exactly the same way you do it. And that's what we're looking for. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a very simple, very rough, I'm not going to use a ruler or a pencil or any of these things that I should use. I'm going to do a simple technical drawing. And you are going to have a homework to do your own technical drawing. And then bring up the class. We'll compare them. We'll contrast them. We'll see what's good, what needs to be improved. And then I'll let you free to try and draw your towers. That's what we've got to try and do. I want to draw an everyday object that I know we all see in school. An uh, alcohol gel dispenser. It squirts out lovely looking alcohol gel, which makes my hands super, super clean. Also, being a physicist, it acts as a little bit of a lubricant on my skin. So it means there's less friction when I do this. Sorry, I got carried away a bit. Technical drawing. I prefer not to have 3D drawings. 3D drawings are difficult and I find them less clear. I know that IKEA make fantastic technical drawings in 3D. I would rather though we had two 2D drawings. One maybe with this here. I would do a side view and I would do a top view. The bottom view isn't very interesting. I would do one of this side, one of this, because that will give me all the detail I need to actually make it. So, being rough and rubbish, here I go. There's my product like so. I'll do a quick sketch of what it would look like. Remember to make yours so much. There it goes. Into the bra. And then it works for me. I'm doing some English. How fun for me. Okay. So here is what I have with the alcohol gel dispenser. And what 
I would need to do. Because that doesn't tell me how it works or how I make it. I need detail in there. The biggest, most important detail is I need measurement. Use arrows that go like this. All the way from one end to all the way on the other end. Not an arrow like this. Uh -uh. Not an arrow like this. Goes the entire distance like so. And then let's say this here is about five centimeters. That works perfectly fine. If you want to be a super duper awesome person, you could even write it as 50, like so. And if I write nothing else next to it, in a technical drawing that implies it is millimeters. So that would also work. Um, so from there to the same, so you have your here, and your this, and this would be, let's say, 85, and so on. And now I have problems. I could do a this here, a this here, but I don't want to do that, because if I do that, then it looks as those arrows are part of the design. I need to make as many of these arrows as possible outside of the actual picture itself. So what I would do with these, I would maybe do some dotted lines, dot, 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 dot. and I can put one here, that says, let's say, 20, and I can put dot, 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 take this aim out here, and maybe I can call this, let's say, 40. And that there would give me the extra information, the picture of the object itself, so it says nice and clean, there's no problem there. And I need to add more detail how big this bit is and the spout itself and so on, but that's the start of a good technical drawing. I can do the same from a top view, so this would include a square shape, and then a circle, smaller circle, and then the spout here. Something like that. Again, not very good. Again, need to do measurements. Would need to take some of these out here. That could be 20, that could be 40, or whatever it is. And that is what I'm looking for. You guys are going to have to make a technical drawing in class next week for your towers. And your towers have lots of spaghetti in and lots of marshmallows, and they're quite complex things. They are quite difficult, I, I know. But again, go to basics. Give me all the information I need so I can make it myself. And then you'll be able to do the drawing as good as it needs to be. A perfect drawing isn't needed. A perfect design drawing is. There's a big difference, and I know which one is much easier for me. Homework for you guys bring in a technical drawing that you have done. It could be something around the home. A plug is a good example because if you look here at the side view, ooh, only see one pin. You see this cylinder shape here, and then it goes like so. So that's quite easy to draw. And a top view, maybe, then, then you see the two pins. So you see the difference there. And the information of both angles together gives me all the things I need to actually make the product. Or it could be something else, maybe a remote control, possibly. A bit more complex with the buttons there. I get the right dimensions of and measure and so forth. But bringing a technical drawing you've done at home. We'll see in class it's awesome or not, and then hopefully give a bit more tips to get you through. Do your tower drawings on Monday or Tuesday. Thank you.